Hi, this is Frank Walters. Tonight, I'm going to teach you how to do a sky replacement. So, in Infinity Photo 2, press Command or Control O for open. And we're going to do, this is from our book, the Affinity Photo Guidebook. So, tutorial number 5, and Mountain, Mount Rushmore. Tutorial 5, Sky. Press open. Okay, so we're just going to follow directly from the book. Select the selection brush tool. It's right here. Select the sky by clicking on the left side of the sky and dragging the cursor to the right and off of the image's border. First, you before you do this, you want to make sure that the snapping icon is clicked on, and then just select the sky. In the book, it says that if you select the rocks, you should hold down the Alt Option key, and then click and drag, and that creates that gets rid of it off the rock there. All right, now we're going to refine our selection. Come up here to the toolbar. Click on it. And then you want to paint over any parts of the rock that are not selected. So maybe this part right here. Click, drag on that. Maybe right there. And maybe right there. Okay, good. Press apply. All right, very good. Now we're going to um, duplicate this layer here so press command or control J to duplicate it and then we're going to deselect the selection so press command or control D deselect it okay now we're going to come over here to our sky image with the tab here click on it press command or control C to copy it come back to Mount Rushmore and press command or control V to paste it all right it's not the right size but we're going to fix that in just a moment Let's come up here to the Layers panel. We're going to rename these layers. So double click on the top layer. That's, we're going to type Sky. And on the background, we're going to call this this bottom one. This is the original because it has the lock icon. Uh, Mount Rushmore 1. So we're going to um, abbreviate it. So MRM1. And the next one is going to be MRM2. Mount Rushmore 2. Okay, so now all we have to do is well, let's resize the sky layer. So click on that. Click on the move tool. Let's resize it so it fits over our picture. That's good. Now we want to make this sky layer a child layer of the MRM2 layer. So click and drag it onto the name of the middle layer. And there you go. The sky has been replaced. See how over here the layers panel? Sky is a child layer of the duplicate layer. Okay, so the problem now is that the Mount Rushmore facade is not the same color as the kind of purplish blue sky. So we're going to fix it right now. This is on page 58. Okay, so now we want to come um, click on the MRM layer here, which is just Mount Rushmore here. We want to come to the icons bar right here. You want to click on brightness and contrast. Here's the pop-up window here. We want to make the brightness negative 30. And the contrast, we want 25. So instead of using a slider, we're going to come over here, double click, and press 25, and then press return key. That looks good. So top one, brightness is negative 30. And the contrast is 25. And then you want to click on this button here. If you have a Windows computer, it's not going to be red. It's just going to be an X, okay? Maybe it's over here. We just want to close it out. On the Mac, this is a Mac, so it's going to be a red button. So click on it so that gets rid of it. All right? So now we want to... Uh, <coughs> the uh, colors of the, um, the purple-blue sky still aren't the same color as the uh, facade. So let's again work on that. Come over here to the icons bar. Click on the adjustments icon, come down to the lens filter, click on that. All right, this is usually used to make a, a photograph look older, that's why it's orange. We don't want orange, so just click on that orange button there. And we want kind of the blue sky, so we want to click on the outside hue circle about right there. Um, that looks about right, but we can be very specific if we want to be. So we, we want to click on this uh, color picker tool here, 
and you can click on it but don't release the uh, the button so click on it drag it to the part of the sky that you like so let's say like I don't know let's go to a little blue like right here is fine it doesn't matter anywhere you want right there blue come back here to the color wheel and you want to click on this little dot right here click on it okay so that is now the color of the the color filter and that's the color of our facade here so that's what we want so let's click on the lens filter pop-out window and this will make this uh, color wheel window disappear yep that's it so now we want to close this as well on the windows you probably have an X here or on here I don't know which one it is I think it's on the left side on a Mac it's this red X here so click on that okay and then we're done oh there's one more thing we can do uh, this lens filter adjustment so go ahead and click on it right here on uh, the layers panel and this this um, pop-out window will come back up again let me show you that again okay so you close it and then you say oops I made a mistake I want to go back to my lens filter adjustment you can come up back over your layers panel this little icon here the lens filter adjustment icon just click on it one time and the window pops open again so let's increase the uh, op optical density from 50 percent to 65 percent so just move it over 65 percent okay 65 I think looks the best but what you can do just just you know just to play around and, and learn is move the optical density all the way to the left and watch what happens to our Mount Rushmore facade nothing has changed move all the way over to the right all right so now it's like super changed and now we think 65 is good all right and then we want to like X out of this lens filter and then we're done so that's how you do a sky replacement so not only how to get rid of the previous sky but also to replace it and also not just to replace the sky but to match the new sky the new sky's color with the color that remains on the part of the image that did not change namely the Mount Rushmore facade okay so that's how you do, how you do lesson number five tutorial number five in the affinity photo guidebook how to do a sky replacement okay if you have any questions please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer all your questions